The first airplane that I ever personally flew in was a glider, actually. So it was an L-23 Blahnik that I flew as a cadet in the Civil Air Patrol. I was 12 years old, and it solidified to me the fact that general aviation was the direction I wanted to go, but it provided me a different perspective. I never thought about gliding before, but that proved to me that flying is way, way more fun than I thought, and I knew that I had to do that for the rest of my life. When I was born, uh, one of the first words that I ever said was plane, and my mom loves to tell people that because it really shows to the world who I am as a person and what it is that I live for. I'm 22 years old, and I hold a single engine commercial and multi-engine commercial certificate with my instrument reading. I got my undergraduate degree in human factors psychology from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. The reason why I picked it starts back in high school. I went to an aviation camp one summer all about engineering and aviation and I came across industrial engineering. And a part of that was ergonomics. And I was so fascinated with the idea of trying to design cockpits to make life easier for the pilots, not just comfort-wise, but also workload-wise. I'm currently uh, working on my master's in human factors and systems engineering uh, with concentrations in aerospace and systems engineering because it's basically what I do at work. And I want to be able to refine my skills within the aerospace industry. I'm an Aviation Systems and Human Factors Engineer at Garmin, and basically what that means is that I'm creating new features and um, doing system testing all for the pilot. Everyone on my team in Human Factors and Aviation is required to be a pilot. Designing user interface as a pilot for pilots is what really makes us different from the rest of Garmin Aviation Engineering. I really like working at Garmin. Um, simply because I get to do exactly what I wanted to do right after school. I went to Embry-Riddle thinking that I was going to graduate and I wanted to go work on cockpit displays or cockpit layouts and that's exactly what I'm doing. So when I'm not at work and when I'm not flying, um, I really enjoy running. It's a great way to just completely wipe my brain of whatever I was doing. I also really enjoy yoga. Um, it's great to just relax and to let the stresses of the day go and to be able to recollect myself and be prepared for the next day at work or the next flight. I am a member of the 99s. I have been since I was 16 years old, so it's about six years now. And the 99s is an all-female pilots organization that's been around since Amelia Earhart's time. And we are all about maintaining a sisterhood and promoting women in aviation. I started my aerobatic flight training just a couple months ago. And believe it or not, it is so easy to get into. You really just have to find an instructor that has the right type of airplane and you just go up and give it a shot. I also do air racing and um, I fly transcontinental air races. I started it through Embry-Riddle. Um, there's really no other requirements other than you need to be a pilot and have an airplane. I love the adrenaline rush of a four day, 2600 mile race. So I've done a few pilots and paws flights since I've become a pilot. They're taking puppies from uh, shelters to their new home and I love doing it because I love puppies and I love airplanes and it's the perfect combination. So in 10 years, I really see myself still working for Garmin, but uh, working also as a flight instructor on the side. As I gain uh, flight hours, I also want to become a search and rescue pilot with the Civil Air Patrol. I think that's a fantastic opportunity to be able to give back to my community. In 20 years, I would like to think that I would still be doing what I want to do, simply because I love what I do, but hopefully with a little bit more flying. Where I am right now is exactly where I want to be and I don't know if I would really want to trade it for anything in the world. Becoming a pilot has really been the cliche concept of a dream come true. And to have the opportunities that I have through Civil Air Patrol, through Embry-Riddle, and through Garmin, even within the past year, I would not have if I wasn't a pilot. I would tell another female that's interested in aviation that the journey is not easy by any means. The experiences that you gain are way overwhelming in comparison to the downs. So that check right might be a little tough or your instructor might be a little harsh, but 
Despite all of the downs you may face, the ups are absolutely worth it.